we're using that I bought is called Pan Toscano. Toscano. Pane Toscano. Um, it's an Italian bread. And it comes in a round loaf. And it's pretty dense. And I'm going to cut this up into approximately one inch cubes. And we need six cups of cubes. For the kale, I'm using kale in the soup. I'm just taking and, and pulling off the kale. And then I'm uh, one or two inch breaking that up. And taking the leaves off and taking the bottom stem off and then I'm going to take all these uh, stems and I'm going to use them and I'm going to chop them up fairly fine. Here I have a third of a cup of olive oil. I'm going to add it to my pot. My pot's been heating on medium heat. add the carrots. This is three carrots. The stems of the kale. About one cup of onion. A good size onion chopped up. And a half a teaspoon of salt. And I'm going to cook this until it's soft, probably about 10 minutes. I have two cans of these. Cannellini beans. And I took them and put them in a strainer and drained them and rinsed them off with water. And here's one can of them in the food processor. And I'm going to add a half a cup of water to the can of drained beans. I'm going to process this up until it's mush. We just want to get it all smooth. This has been going for 10 minutes and they're getting soft. So I'm going to add six cloves of garlic that I chopped up. It's about two tablespoons. Put all that in there. I want to stir that in real well. Get it all in there. And I have two cans of diced tomatoes that I uh, drained, but I didn't rinse them. And they're both 14 ounces. And I'm going to put those tomatoes in there. I'm going to put five and a half cups of water in there. Two bay leaves. One's big, one's small. The pureed beans. Put that in there. The beans that weren't per the whole beans. All the kale is going in there. Well, uh, I'll put some more in later. And I'm going to put one large russet potato. I'm going to let this come up to a simmer. I'm going to partially cover it, leave it open a little bit, and, uh, part and uh, let this come up to a simmer and then set my timer for 40 minutes. Here I have a piece of cheesecloth and some cotton string and some rosemary 
and we need a teaspoon of rosemary and for normal people you can just add this into your soup later but I have stomach intestine problems so I'm afraid this is going to upset my if I leave the chunks in there in the soup so I'm going to tie this up and this is going to go in the soup a little bit later it's boiling right now I'm going to boil the soup simmer it for 45 minutes and make this little pouch um, this has been going for 45 minutes and five minutes ago I put in the rosemary and I'm going to put in two cups of the bread get that down in there I've turned the heat off and I'm gonna let this sit for 15 minutes so that the bread soaks up a lot of the water and the juice and um, come back in a minute or two I'm gonna take out the uh, rosemary thing and I'm gonna take out uh, fished out the two bay leaves I'm gonna get rid of those Here in my bowl, I have some of the uh, bread. Now this bread, I did cut it up and I put it in the oven, 275 for about 30 minutes, half hour. I'm going to put some of the, uh, the soup on here. Very hearty soup. And I'm going to cut away and show you what else to do. We need some uh, Parmesan and you want to put some parmesan on here that's pretty essential to make it taste really good put that on there also if you have some really nice olive oil you want to put that on here just like a finishing olive oil just to just a, one of the high grades just put some of that on there make it taste really good and optional is some bacon crumbs put some of that on there and now you have a really really good soup thanks so much for watching